Good morning, everybody. It's Jennifer, and welcome back to the channel. Okay, today's video is going to be a drill with me. And um, we're just going to chat while I work on my Egyptian Queen of the Leopards and just ramble on. So pull out your kits and diamond paint with me while I talk. <coughs> Excuse me. So I hope everyone has had a great week. Um, it's going okay here. We um, starting Monday. Well, actually, starting today after the kids get out of school, there will be no school for two weeks. We um, apparently, I Justin was telling me this yesterday. There are some kids, I guess, that are in the school system or at school or whatever that are that have gotten ill with the um, symptoms of the coronavirus so the kids are off for two weeks and today's their last day of school so you can imagine what my next two weeks is gonna be like uh-huh mm -hmm. yeah yeah you, you, you all gonna see a crazy person next week because yeah it's just gonna be crazy but um regardless um so they justin and skylar are really really um happy about it <laughs> who would think right so this week is going to be that this weekend is going to be basically I was watching the news this morning and they're they're basically telling telling you giving you you know kind of uh, a how to quarantine self quarantine your home so that's what's going to be going on this week and don't worry my allergies are acting up this morning I found out a couple of days ago I have allergies so that's what this that's what that is but um so yeah that's what's going to happen this weekend and then for the next two weeks I may be going insane we'll see we shall see haven't got that far yet but we'll see so um yeah the kids are of course I didn't believe it at first when Justin told me and I had to go and look on mm, Facebook and on Twitter because our school system our uh, county board of ed has <clears throat> a um, Twitter account go figure right I would have never known but apparently I must have known because I follow them on Twitter now I don't use Twitter a whole lot I use Facebook and Instagram more than I do Twitter. Don't ask me. I don't know. I guess I guess because for me when I started I don't even know how to explain it. When I started diamond painting and every, or when when I started when I started up my Twitter, I thought, okay, you know, this is going to be cool. This is going to be like um Facebook and I really don't I really I can't I couldn't get into Twitter I still can't I, I will you know go on Twitter and you know read my my um news feed but I just can't I, I, I just can't get the whole concept don't ask me I don't know I don't know why I, I'm I, I'm I don't know so I like I said I didn't even know that our um, 
our school system had a um, a Twitter account until I looked, or actually until Justin came up. So I went on as because I went up there and I searched them. Come to find out, I do follow them, which I didn't remember doing in the first place. But um, of course, then it was like a couple hours later. Um, we got the phone call telling us that you know schools were going to be closed starting the 26th or no starting the 16th which is Monday so today's their last day and then um, <clears throat> they will um, be out for two whole weeks I'm not looking forward to that no offense it's just I'm <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love it when my kids are home. But, yeah. They're going to drive me crazy. I mean, they already drive me crazy as it is now. So, it, it's going to be... It's going to be fun. But, we'll get through it. We always do. So, but that's okay. I mean, of course, the kids are all excited. The boys are all excited about it. And, um, like now, um, <clears throat> the Justin school has given them the option of coming or not. And, um, of course, he doesn't know this because I didn't tell him. He's in bed, so he can't hear me. But um, he doesn't know this part. But they gave him the option. They gave, you know, they told all. They, we get a parent link phone call every time there's, like, news or, you know, something that, you know, they try to, they try to send out phone calls every, you know, week, letting know what's going on during the week. And, uh. Of course, because I didn't know yesterday about it, <clears throat> they, uh, until later, even though they did get, even though I did get the phone call, but, you know, I found out before that, you know, from Twitter and Facebook, but, um, <clears throat> they, uh, like I said, he doesn't know this part, and then I, hopefully he can't hear me. But um, they gave, they let it be known that if the students decided that, um, you know, if the parents decided that they didn't want to send them, then, you know, they wouldn't count it against their attendance. So, uh, he was going to go to school this morning, but then he turned around and... He gone to he had gone to the store for me, and um, he turned around when he got home and he looked at me and he's like, "Are you really gonna send me to school?" And I thought, "Well, why wouldn't I?" And um, he's like, "Well, I don't really want to go." And I said, "Why?" And uh, <clears throat> he says, "Because." You know, there's not going to be a whole lot of students there. There's probably not a whole lot of students that they come in at all, period, anyway. And I said, okay. And, you know, and I posted on Facebook yesterday. I had a feeling it wasn't going to be too much longer before, you know, they decided shortly after the governor declared a state of emergency that, you know, we weren't going to have school. And of course, you know, the boys have been kind of like, well, not main, mainly just Justin. Skylar is still trying to, you know, I don't think he really cares one way or the other. He went to school. So it, it's, you know, and, um, <clears throat> he, uh, He just, you know, he, now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, well, I kind of figured because the governor of our state 
declared an emergency, state of emergency, I want to say last week or the week before, I can't remember. And um, <clears throat> so when that happened, I thought, okay, well, what about, you know, schools and stuff? You going to let that happen? Well, come to find out from Justin yesterday, you know, that's when he told me about, you know, that somebody had posted it all over Snapchat or something. I can't, I, see, I don't follow, I don't do Snapchat, so, you know, I, I could really care less. But, um, somebody had put it all over Snapchat that, or that they've been post, posting on Snapchat that, you know, there are some students that have been, um, having symptoms of the coronavirus so I told my kids this morning that <clears throat> this weekend was going to be one of those weekends where we are going to you know sanitize the house quarantine you know self quarantine everything and they just kind of looked at me like but if we don't leave for two weeks regardless I'm not taking any chances I've been you know I haven't been take really taking any chances period I've been using hand sanitizer and hand soap and just you know making sure to keep my hands clean um, and so forth and of course I've been like following them the kids around which I you know they they do this anyway they wash their hands when they go to the bathroom they wash their hands after you know they eat before they eat whatever and um I've just been following them around a little bit more and of course you know Skylar looks at me like mom really you do have to stand here and watch me of course I do you know, I mean, and I've got a hair sticking up. Sorry, guys. You probably think I look like, what's his face from Little Rascals? Um, so, yeah, it's, but, you know, Skylar knows. Skylar gets it. I mean, he's been kind of asking a lot of questions, and that used to get on my nerves. He, when he was old enough, when he started, right before he started, you know, actually going into school, and started school that's what he would do he would drive me bonkers and I'm no lie guys he would drive me bonkers <clears throat> and it started that this is how it started his sister Miranda and him were watching the movie Titanic well <clears throat> he decided that he wanted to know everything there was to know about the Titanic so he started asking her questions well apparently I guess it got on her nerves and she got so frustrated and irritated and oh my gosh well <clears throat> after the movie was over she came out and she looked at me she says I am never watching that movie with him again and why because this child asked her every single question about you know like when the when the glacier hit or when the iceberg hit you know when they hit the the iceberg with the ship and uh, he wanted to know everything and I just sat there and I was like okay well it, it got so bad guys that he would take his tablet that I had bought him for Christmas a couple of years ago and this is when he got back into this kick and he googled ships that had been hit by icebergs or sunk guys there's four I didn't even know that believe me I didn't know that and when I found that out I was like you're kidding me and um <clears throat> oh my gosh he went into this big long thing he's just the smartest kid and 
when something, I, even with weather, with meteorology, oh my gosh, every time, um, like, if there's a hurricane warning, hurricane watch, tornado warning, tornado watch, okay, he was into that. And he would sit and Google about hurricanes and about tornadoes. And he would come out and ask me all sorts of questions. He would drive me insane. But, you know, on the other hand, I was like, okay, at least he wants to learn. At least he's trying, you know, at least he's asking questions so that he can learn this stuff. And I'm just, it just totally baffled me because I was just like, you know, this is, this kid is like, you know, six or seven years old and he wants to know all this information. And it just kept progressing all the way up until now. So I, so when this coronavirus thing started, you know, he didn't really pay much attention to it at first because, you know, they, it was basically over in China. And, um, well, as soon as it started hitting here, he was like, Mom, yes, what exactly is this? I really don't know, son. I don't understand it. Well, and you guys know when he was sick a couple weeks ago, or, yeah, a couple weeks ago, his father flipped out thinking it was the coronavirus wanted me to have the child checked. Well, this is before he realized, and of course, I guess he doesn't pay attention to the news or whatever, but this is before he realized that it doesn't really affect children and it doesn't affect, you know, people, I think it's like people age 60 or whatever. I don't know. I can't remember. And but again, because I'm 50, I'm not taking any chances. And, um, he, uh, you know, he's been asking a lot of questions. And, you know, he's been getting, at first I thought he was going to get scared. But he looked at me. He's like, Mom. I said, what? He says, uh, am I going to get it? I said, well, the way they're the way they're trying to explain this, son, it's not looking like it's going to affect children. I said, but the way it sounds is, you know, this thing only lasts in a person for like two weeks. I don't know. I could be wrong again. Again, this is just my opinion, you know. And I told him, I said, every person's different, I, you know. And um, so he kind of he kind of, you know, he's been watching the news with me and which, you know, I kind of think it's kind of cool in a way, but then again, I'm thinking, okay, this 10 year old child is, you know, wanting to know about this virus and <clears throat> So then, and then, you know, of course, like now last night, he was watching it with me and, uh, and of course, after he found out that, you know, the schools were closed for schools were going to be closed for two weeks, he turned around and he said, so what, we can't go outside. I said, no, you can't go outside. You're going to have to stay inside. I said, thank God you got a freak, uh, Xbox. You and your brother each have an Xbox. Thank God for that. Thank God we have Hulu. Thank God we have movies sitting in the Antenna Entertainment Center out in Limroom. I said, but still, you know, you can't go outside, you know, for for two weeks. And um, he's like, well, are we going to get sick? I said, I sure as heck hope not. Now, he, um, he just kind of... And of course, then, then of course, he wanted to stay home. He was planning. He was, he was excited that I was going to let him stay home from school today, and 
you know, I told, you know, I told Justin, I said, well, it's not fair that if you stay home, you know, he's going to want to stay home. And at first, you know, Skylar was like, yeah, I'll stay home. I was like, okay. But now, you know, this morning or last night before he we went to bed, he didn't want to stay home. He wanted to go to school. And I told him, I said, well, then you need to bring whatever it is that you have at school that doesn't really belong at school and you need to bring it home and you need to, you know, because you're not going to be in school for two weeks. So if you have any books that you took from home and took it to school, then you need to, you know, um, bring it home. And of course, you know, he said, I don't have anything at school that I need for home. I was like, okay. I said, I just want to make sure because I just don't want you to, you know, end up leaving something there that you really, really needed. And, you know, it's there and then mommy has no way to go get it because there's not going to be anybody at the school for two weeks. So, and of course, you know, the next thing that was asked, well, are we going to have to make this up? Now, I don't know because nobody said anything. It's not been you know, put out there. Nobody has kind of, I watched the news this morning. Nobody has said anything about whether or not they're going to have to make it up. Um, I'm going to go on the assumption that they will at the end of the school year in June. Now, I don't know because, you know, this isn't a normal, you know, snow day. So I'm assuming that possibly they're going to be, you know, nice enough and say, okay. And back to the conversation that Justin and I had yesterday when I found, when he told me before I even checked um, any kind of social media or anything. Apparently, there are children, there are kids, teenagers, what have you in the school system that are coming to school I guess with symptoms and I had a feeling this was gonna happen because as like I said as soon as the governor governor started declaring to stay in the emergency then of course you know the, the, the school system sta stating you know they're not gonna have any field trips, blah, blah, blah. And so, yeah, my next two weeks are going to be so much fun. I'm sorry. I went into a big ramble. I'm sorry. It's just, it's going to be interesting. Thank goodness I have something here to keep me occupied. Thank goodness I still have this. No, I haven't gotten very far on it, but at least I have this in my stitching and so forth to keep me occupied. And probably hopefully not lose my sanity when it comes to my children because yeah they mm -hmm, they gonna drive me crazy but that's okay so it's you know it's gonna be interesting and I've been watching you know trying to keep a close tab on the news and stuff and we'll see because you know, I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't, like, left the house. So, hopefully, and the only ones that really have left the house are, um, the boys. And, of course, then we have Miranda's boyfriend that has come over. So, I, I, and he doesn't, he hasn't really gone anywhere either. So, we're just going to you know, go by, we're just going to self-quarantine the house and keep everything clean and so forth and 
we're going to pray. I don't think I'm, you know, I'm not going to say I don't think I'm going to get it, but I'm not going to take the chance because, you know, and I'm not going to say I'm not because, you know, just because I haven't gone anywhere doesn't mean a darn thing. So, but we will see. But other than that, it's been a pretty, 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 pretty quiet week. I guess that's what you could say. I mean, we've, you know, we're still having the growing pains thing with Justin, but, you know, he's gotten a little better. It's just, you know, it's just, you know, I, I get it. I was at that age, too, so I fully, you know, get it. And I kind of feel bad for him because he's kind of like, you know, and he's frustrated and so forth. And there, it's just a lot, especially last week when he got, you know, searched and stuff. And which, you know, I, again, you know, I totally understand why that happened and then of course you know now he's being told he can't uh, that his early release starting whenever he goes back to school he's got to basically make up two classes and or basically stay for two classes because these are two classes that I guess he's failing I don't really know I am still kind of trying to figure you know all that out because he's you know he's telling me one thing and I'm not trying I'm not really trying to understand I mean, I'm trying to understand what the issue is. He's telling me one thing, and I'm not getting it. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to call and talk to his guidance counselor. Well, he didn't want me to do that because, you know, he... I, I really don't know. He didn't want me to do that, but I did it anyway. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I found out that, you know, he would, I don't know how to explain this. Our school policy only allows us to miss, um, allows children to miss five days every marking term or whatever. Well, He brought me home a paper, and I was, you know, I signed it, and he explained to me what it was for, and I said, okay, and um, he had to make up, I guess, two hours or whatever, and I said, why do you have to make it up, and he says, because I was absent these, you know, these whatever, these two days or whatever. And I thought, okay. So he uh, <clears throat> he took the paper back in. Well, they in turn told him that he couldn't make it up. Now, I could understand if it was the end of the school year or the end of the marking term, which it wasn't. It was like in the middle of the marking term, I guess. And so, you know, he they told him, and this was after they gave him this form for me to sign so that he could make these two classes up. And which I, you know, and when he came home and told me this, I thought, okay, you know, that's just kind of weird. They send this paper home to you and then they don't want you to make it up. 
huh? What the heck? So I was like, okay. So when I got, you know, when I found all this information out last week from, about, from, you know, him about him having to make these two classes up, I called his guidance counselor and she was like, well, this was from way back, I guess, in the beginning. He didn't make, he missed, he had like these unexcused absences, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, he sent me, he brought me home a paper. I signed it and it was to, for him to make up two days. And I said, and they told him after I had the paper signed and he returned it that basically they changed their mind. He couldn't make it up. And she was like, well, who told him that? And I said, I really, I, I don't know. And I, of course, you know, Justin finally told me it was such a, this per, one person. Well, apparently this person's not there anymore. And I said, you know, it doesn't make any sense to me because, you know, even though he didn't want to, he was willing to make the days up and stay after. I said, it's just the point that, you know, it, it just, I, I don't get it. So the guidance counselor said she would check on that and, you know, let Justin know. Now, whether or not she did, of course, this was last week. So now, whether or not that happened and she told Justin, who knows? So, we'll see. But anyhow, now, mm, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Of course, okay. Mm, I'm thinking, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I do that a lot. I don't know why. And it's raining, and it's one of those days. Yes, it's Friday, but oh my God. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, it's one of those days. No, I'm just like, okay. Um, let's see, Miranda, she was supposed to go to the doctor today. Well, poor child, she's in bed. She don't feel good. She's got some, I think it was something she ate because she, uh, She was fine last night, and I get—I don't know if she was fine all night. Cause once I go to bed and lay my head down, I don't hear nothing. I don't hear anything. It didn't used to be that way. It used to be I could, you know, I would hear anything and everything. The little slightest little, you know, movement would wake me up. Now. I'm not like that. And, um, so, uh, so she's been in bed. She's supposed to go to the doctor today. Well, I'm going to have to reschedule that. And then I'm going to have her boyfriend pick up hands out hand sanitizer. No, we don't need hand sanitizer. Hand soap. Multi-purpose cleaner with bleach, I'm thinking. And Clorox wipes. That's if he can. She said she'd ask him because I'm not, I'm not taking any chances. So, so, but it's really been kind of quiet around here. We haven't really had any exciting, I believe me, after the, next week, there'll probably be me even more funnier because, yeah, the kids will be here and, oh my God. So, it's, it's been, um, it's been, you know, kind of blah around here. 
But, um, of course, <laughs> last night we were, um, <clears throat> all sitting down in the living room. Brandon, just, uh, Brandon and Skylar and I were sitting down in the living room. And, um, we were watching, uh, TV. And all of a sudden, Miranda looks at me. Mom. Yeah? Can you meet the TV? And I heard it. I heard this, and I wasn't really paying attention to what was going on, you know. And, um, because I could hear somebody singing. And I thought, okay, you know, it's outside. Um, no. It was just. And I just, I, I died laughing because <clears throat> he sounded like a hyena. I know I don't sound, I know I can't sing, but, oh my God, the boy sounded like a hyena. I'm just saying. And so when I put the TV on mute, I, well, we, she and I just sat here and just listened and we just died laughing. And I, I was just like, okay. And, um... <clears throat> So, uh, <laughs> she went in there and, oh my gosh, he's dancing and, oh my gosh, I'm just, I, I'm just like, really? Seriously? What the heck? <laughs> so, it was kind of cute, but, um, it was, it was funny. It was hilarious. I, um, of course, I'm trying to teach and, you know, I don't know what it is. I really don't. Boys are so much more hyper than girls. I know I was a hyper child. I know Miranda was a hyper child. And I know Ariel was a hyper child. Okay. Because I could be sitting out in the living room. This is an example. I could be sitting out in the living room, watching TV, and all of a sudden, I could hear one of the boys either yelling at the, the game or back here going completely totally bonkers over the game. And the one that goes bonkers and gets all excited and and goofy is Skylar. And the other one is the one with, the one that likes to, you know, be all loud and scream and holler and curse and whatever at the game is Justin. So, yeah, I mean, I can, I get upset and frustrated with the games, too, when I play. But, really? Seriously, people? And I'm trying to, okay. So, mm-hmm. It's been kind of, it was funny. But, mm, um, hmm, um, hmm. I'm thinking. I, I know I have. Uh, I'm. I know I have said this before. I'm an affiliate with Color Relaxation. No, I have not had a chance to buy anything from them. I was going to uh, yesterday or Wednesday, but um, I was not able to. We had. Um, We had some bills that, you know, we needed to make sure, or I needed to make sure were kind of caught up. I'm trying to, um, I have some money on my PayPal that I'm trying not to use so that way when it comes time, you know, I can, <clears throat> because that's what my PayPal's for. But, of course, I haven't been able to use my PayPal for that purpose. So, I am <clears throat> just kind of, you know, I'm hoping next week or next month or whatever I can. Um, there's a couple things I want to get, but uh, I have been researching their website. And it's, they, 
and I've been you know talking to other creators that have ordered from them and they seem to be really really um, a really really good company and I you know that's just my opinion I know other people have you know done did unboxings from them so it's not that I didn't want I it's not that I don't want to and it's not that I don't want to promote them it's just I haven't had the the um, finances to do so and they have the um, <clears throat> diamond painting journal on there that I really I don't know I'm, I'm seriously thinking about it it's in my cart and there's a couple other um, uh, paintings and so forth that I really liked on there that I want to uh, that I would like to get but other than that we're just kind of you know I'm just kind of taking it by ear I mean I know a lot of people are like you know your YouTube channel why don't you do unboxings because I mean I do them when I get them but um, I'm just not that type of person and I don't you know now that I don't have the finances to do that every whatever you know all the time I wish I did but I don't so it's not um I mean it would be nice because I would splurge big time I would I would splurge let's see um trying to think oh poor Skylar I I'm telling you I um listen to audiobooks from our local library on my phone well <clears throat> I went to uh, get a couple and Skylar library card that I use apparently has a fine okay now he didn't bother to tell me this I guess he forgot I don't know so I get a letter in the mail, okay, and it's telling me that you know he uh he has this book out, and I like called him in here, called him in, and I said, dude, what? You know you got an overdue bill? No. So I showed it. To, I showed him the title, and he's like, oh, it's this book. Like I'm supposed to know what it is. Okay. I said, son, I didn't know that was the library's. Well, you've seen me with it. Okay, but that doesn't mean that I know that it belongs to the library. So, uh, I told him, I said, well, um, you're going to have to take it back to school. Well, he just kind of, you know, okay so I don't know I'm gonna call the library today or Monday and find out because being that they don't have school for the next two weeks he's not gonna be able to return this book so I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to return it and I'm just hoping I don't have to pay the fine because he took because he's told me every time that they you know he's had an overdue book or whatever he's taken it back in and they've you know taken care of it and let it go and I was like okay so I I don't know we'll see I have no idea I'm kind of hoping that so that he can, um, you know, get he 
he doesn't have this problem. But we'll see because even though he doesn't like to read, he get he does get other things. He does get movies and stuff. So I mean, I'm trying to get him into reading, but he just kind of looks at me funny. So we'll see. We shall see. And um, I pick. I downloaded a really really. Oh uh, yeah, I did. I can't remember the name of them. I downloaded this. It's a mur murder mystery. There's like three books in the series, and um. I can't remember what they're called, and I don't have. Hmm, I don't even know. I think I have it on here. Mm. Um, come on, Amy. Um. Why can't I get in here? Why can't I get in here? Me and him will have problems. Okay. I can't remember what it's called. See, I'm not prepared. I wasn't even planning on talking about this book. Um. It's a murder mystery. But I like I said I'll have to because I haven't even started reading it yet. Um, <clears throat> there was another one that I also download. Oh, I also downloaded that. But then um, I've been starting to get. Um, I forget where I saw this at. I can't remember. But anyway, I'm starting to get. I've started receiving um, true crime novels. So, because y'all know I'm a true crime buff. So, yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be fun. So, I think that's it, guys. Yeah, because I'm at 47 minutes. Um, But I'll keep everybody posted about the next two weeks. Please, trust me. I'm... All this gray hair that's up here, it's going to get worse before this is over. So, But anyway, until then, guys, I hope everybody has a great weekend. And I will see you all uh, next week. And those of you that are new, thank you for watching. And I have a live on Sunday at 12 p.m. So I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.